Thank you for joining us to learn and explore about older adult ministries. What better time is there than this to be addressing the particular needs, interests, and wishes of our older adults? Faith formation and spiritual growth are key essential elements of healthy aging. This video and our series will aid you and your congregation in enhancing and growing your ministry with, for, and by older adults. Each video is created in a similar format to launch a dialogue, including a topic introduction, brief related commentary from church members and leaders, and key discussion questions with biblical context. Use this video in the fashion that works best for you, as an individual, or in your own adult study group. Many church activities are generation-based and divide groups by age. Older adults have spent a lifetime giving of their time, treasure, and talents to the church. In what ways can your congregation blend generations in meaningful, faith-growing ways. Don't be afraid of uh, growing old. Don't think that it's just a diminishment. She's always here. She's always smiling. She's always loving. That God has been with me all the time. And even though I can't do what I used to do, to God be the glory for the things that I'm able to do, and to thank God for that. It's having fun and laughing together. Laughter is good for the body. It's a joy to see people enjoying life, no matter what the age is. And it's a mixed group. You don't ever stop learning. I don't think you ever stop growing spiritually. And I, you know, age, just because you have a little gray hair, does not mean you're old. Ministry to seniors is backing up really intergenerational ministry. It's how can seniors who are such an incredible gift to our church minister to all those others who find themselves in a church building. And the local church is one of the only places where a community gathers where you have five generations of people represented, sometimes six. So there is tremendous opportunity for um, Seniors, in whatever generation you want to pick, it could be grandparents or great-grandparents or so forth, can lend all of their great heritage and history and love for the church to younger generations who are desperately seeking relevance and deep authenticity in their Christian walk of life, to have kind of their mission match their values in a congregation. I am blessed that I get to work with many youth in our region, and when I sit down and talk with them, I really hear a deep longing from them wanting to learn from elders. And even that term, elders, is misunderstood, that we desperately need sages or wise people or people with great wisdom. And social media doesn't cut it for any generation anymore. They really need that one-on-one -on -one mentoring of, of people who've been around the bend, who have uh, lived through different times and faced different challenges, but yet find out how those uh, struggles that they went through are pretty close to what our younger people are experiencing now today. But many seniors finding themselves at crossroads of technology or um, opportunity or mission can equally learn from the youth and they crave hearing you know, what is exciting and uh, what young people uh, find great passion in today. I always thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if there was a canning demonstration? You know, I would love to know how to can, you know, uh, beets and pickles and tomatoes and all that, but no one ever taught me. But what if, you know, those who uh, grew up with that out of necessity would want to share that, you know, as something that's fun and healthy for the younger generations constantly looking on ways to improve their diet?